This is a continuation of The Last of Us laundromat scene, and in this video, I want to focus just on making a laundry basket and texturing it, uh, sort of basically texturing it in Substance Painter, really using opacity to create the holes instead of doing it in modeling geometry. All right, so here we go. I'm going to create a plane. Look down from the top and scale it in the X a little bit. I'll do this. I'm going to extrude it up. I'm going to come out a little ways. I'm going to get rid of that top face. All right, I'm going to take the edges and E and S. Come out just a little bit. I might scale it in the Y just to make it a little bit more even. And I'm going to extrude down. And that's all I'm going to do. You can do, you know, more crazy head designs here if you want. I'm going to continue by beveling the sides, shift alt and click these edges, and control B and pull like this. One, two, three, I'm gonna add a total of five. And down here, I'll bevel this. Okay, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna drop an edge loop down the middle, actually on both sides and I'm going to press one for vertex and I'm going to grab these vertices and press J that'll split it down the middle we're going to mark a seam there and I'll take these and I'll bevel here and I'll press C for clamping I don't really need it I guess uh, actually I'll, let's do this let's drop one more edge loop up there and pull that up to round it a bit more and then and then we'll grab these three control B and pull, see the overlap, so press C, clamp or roll back a little bit. Let's get it nice and round, but then select the whole thing, merge by distance. I'm gonna select this, and let's try Control E, uh, mark seam for that. All right, let's go over to UV. Uh, actually, let's, let's shade smooth that. And we're going to add solidify just like that. Just just add it and just leave it at its default. All right. Let's come over here and unwrap, and we'll get this. Okay. Let's add a seam here and a seam here. So go all the way around. Let's try that. Unwrap. And we'll have this. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to control L. Press N. And I'm going to use UV squares, which is a free add-on for Blender, to straighten these out. See if I can grab both of those, control N. Okay. I'm gonna select N everything and use UV Pack Master to pack. And let's try that. All right, create an FBX. Over here in Substance Painter, I'm going to create new, OpenGL, and select my basket. There it is. I'm now going to bake the mesh maps. I'll do that at 2K, uncheck ID. Okay, so there it is. A little bit of shading issues that could be addressed in Blender quite easily, so we won't worry about that. Let's come over here and add anti-aliasing. And in the layers, I'll delete that, add a fill layer. And this is just gonna be really basic uh, texturing. 
Uh, I'm going to change the base color here to something, you know, wishy-washy like that. And let's uh, add a filter maybe. We could try this anyhow and see how we like it. That one, just to get a little bit of uh, discoloration in there. And we could use triplanar. Yeah, just to have something on there. Okay, so this is like our base. All right, so what we want to do is we want to add those holes on here. So I'm going to switch my shader to PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending, and I'm going to add an opacity channel here. Create a new fill layer. And this I'm going to use... We'll use, we'll use height and opacity. And if I drag that down, everything disappears. So we'll add a black mask. We'll say, okay, so where do you want that opacity? I'm gonna add a fill. And in the grayscale, I'm gonna search for the tile generator. And we'll have this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sharpen it up using the position, maybe a little bit of contrast. And we can start with with something like that. Um, and now we'll come into pattern and I'll scale it down a little bit. Let's make sure we use triplanar on this actually. And we'll have this. And I'm going to use instead of the brick for the pattern type, you can scroll down and use a custom pattern. So I'm gonna come over to my alphas, so I'm gonna search for rounded. I'm going to use this rounded rectangle, so just drag that in there and switch this to image input. And now I'll have this. And we're getting close to what we would want to have. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to add a paint layer here. And I'm going to turn on symmetry. And I'm going to get a hard brush. And if I paint, I can paint more transparency. If I press X and it's black, I can paint less transparency or sort of erase the transparency where I don't want it. So for example, if I do this, you can see it's getting rid of some transparency there. All right, so we're gonna figure out where we want this. So certainly at the top, we don't want it. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to have, I'm going to keep, let's see, I'm going to keep these three rows. I might get rid of, yeah, okay, well, let's start with this. So I'm just going to come in here and paint there. And you have to go over it quite a bit, but it's kind of fun to do this and see the transparency disappearing. And let's do that. Let's come over here. Actually, let's go on the top. So I'm gonna get I'm getting rid of this top layer here. Here, I'll get rid of this one. I might want a different pattern on the side. You can do that. I might do that, but we'll see. Okay, let's go underneath here. Just get rid of all that extra. You really have to look at it in different light to make sure you've done it.
Now, let's come back here. I may not be done. I've left height on. Let's drop the height like that. And we'll get a little bit of the uh, sense of height coming through. And come back to the paint layer. Yeah, and just keep going over it in different different directions, making sure you've gotten rid of everything you don't want. Now, let's see if there's any other tweaks we want to do. If I play with this a little bit. Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of this row and this row. So let's see what that would look like. Okay, I see some areas here. switch back to perspective and I'm going to turn that off for the moment have a look at what we've got Let's see if I was to change this back and paint. I wonder if I like that better. just changes everything but that's okay it's easy to to do this over to the other side and make sure I'm doing it consistently on both sides. Just have those on that side. Yeah, okay. Do this. And you know, as you can see, all of these holes uh, are not geometry. It's all in the texture. It's pretty easy just to paint. And it's fun. Yeah, I might miss a couple of spots, but so I don't take up all your time. 
by the way, if I go back to to there, actually, hang on. Punch a hole right through it. Not that I would do that, but right, let's just have another look at this. Okay, so that's one way. Let's try. Yeah, I think that way. Okay. I think I need to come back to the paint. Press X. there and this one I guess I did that on the other side already So you can definitely see through those. It, you have a little bit of what looks like thickness, so it doesn't look just like a flat plane. And uh, you know there may be some other areas that you would have to touch up. You know, but you go through it and uh, and see. All right, so I can take that now, put that in my scene, and we'll have a basket. All right, thanks for watching.